Hey Lumen, and welcome to your course on exercise. But this isn't your typical exercise course. And if you've been around this industry for a long time and you've been getting your workouts in, you might not have heard a course like this before. So stick around. The first thing we're gonna go over is functional movement. And what is it? It's movement that mimics the things that we do every single day. So whether you're standing up and sitting down, walking upstairs, bending down to pick something up, or maybe trying to carry in all the groceries at once. So making sure that you're able to do these things pain-free and for the rest of your life is extremely important. So when we're thinking about exercise, we want to make sure that we're thinking about getting our entire body working as one unit to make sure that we can do these things for the rest of our lives. So how many times have you gone to the gym and someone says, well, what body part are you training that day? I'm sure you've heard that a lot, or maybe you are someone who splits things up, upper body, lower body, and that's a great way to work out. But today I'm gonna teach you about the kinetic chains of motion. So we're gonna head to high school science and we are going to talk about things that maybe you remember and maybe you don't. So the first thing you need to know is that energy transfers through the body in the forms of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy travels through, guess what? Kinetic chains. So we actually have chains of motion in our body. Our anterior chain, that's the front of the body. Our posterior chain, that's the back of the body. And our lateral chain, that's the sides of the body and all those lateral stabilizers. All three chains need to be incorporated in every single workout. The reason why, it makes it so that your entire body can work as one unit, getting your core to fully connect in every exercise. So think about it. You're doing a leg exercise and you're getting ab workouts? Awesome. You're doing an upper body exercise and your core is still being engaged? This is the goal of all functional movement training when we're training through those three chains of motion. So we've just talked about functional movement and kinetic chains of motion, things that we probably didn't know about before. And now I'm about to hit you with another one. This is the anaerobic and aerobic energy system. And in our body, they burn fuel and energy in different ways. The aerobic system, it actually uses oxygen as its main source of fuel, which builds cardiovascular endurance. This is when you're focusing on long, slow distance. You're getting your heart rate up for an extended period of time. And maybe you're on a walk or a jog. Our anaerobic system, this is those high intensity workouts. This is that strength training. This system is going to burn carbohydrates in the moment. And in the long term, it's going to help us gain muscle, which increases that resting metabolic rate. So when you're creating an exercise program, you want to make sure that you're getting a little bit of both of these energy systems to create a body that not only works well, but is metabolically flexible as well. So what we have to think about, we've learned functional movement, kinetic chains, and now energy systems. How do we actually incorporate all three of those things into our workout programs? It's way easier than you think, I promise. This is how you're gonna do it. First, you're gonna focus on what it is that you do in your daily life. I walk upstairs, I play with my children, I like to go on jogs on the weekends. Now you know that you're training for not only endurance, but for longevity in your health, for good joints so you can keep up with your kids. These are your goals, this is your focus when it comes to functional movement. The next, kinetic chains of motion, my favorite, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're training the back of the body just as much as you're training the front of the body or even more. In our society, we lean forward all the time. We're constantly on our phones. We're disengaging our core. We want to make sure that we're training the back of the body almost twice as much so that we can really get that posture good and make that core nice and tight. Then lateral chain. This is all of our little lateral stabilizers. When is the last time you used them? Do you run down the road sideways? Probably not, but we still need to train those because what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep us injury-free for the long run. They're gonna make it so those bigger muscle groups actually get stronger and do it for the long run. Lastly, we need that anaerobic and aerobic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have days where we have intense workouts, all based on your actual goals and your current ability levels. And then we're gonna have those days that are less intense. You wanna make sure that you're hitting these two energy systems. So to break it down, total body workouts, some are intense, some are not. And then your number one focus, recovery, making sure that you're taking days off in between so that your body can actually get stronger from the stress that you put it under the day before.